Today I'm going to walk you through four really great map making tools. Atlas is for making custom Google Maps with multiple markers. You can embed it on your website and style just about everything. Google My Maps is free to use and is great for routing and taking measurements. Map Creator is good for creating maps that need to be exported as an image. And Incarnate is a bit more fun. It makes fantasy maps great for authors and tabletop RPG game masters. Now in this video, I'm going to go deeper on each of these map tools. And you can also find links to each in the video description below. Now, full disclosure, I co-founded Atlas with my friend Carl, so I love it, but I'm also kind of biased, so judge for yourself. Anyways, let's do this. Let's start with Atlas. Like I said, Atlas is for custom Google Maps with multiple markers. So we can add markers individually, and we can also import them from a spreadsheet. When you click a marker, it opens a modal with a name, address, and notes. You can also add photos. Now the key with Atlas is that you can style everything. So let's go to style. And let's get rid of this marker border. And let's choose this coffee icon. Change the color. Increase the size a bit. And yeah, I like that. Next, let's quickly customize this modal window. Much better. Finally, let's choose a custom map style. Now, if we click over to publish, there's an option to add a sidebar with search. When we're done, we can share this map or use this code to embed the map on any website. And that's Atlas. Next up is Google My Maps. Google My Maps is a great tool for finding the distance between two places. It's also a great tool for drawing shapes. Nice. And like Atlas, you can import a spreadsheet of markers. And what's cool is you can create directions between markers. Now the only downside to Google My Maps is that it's not super customizable. You can choose from a preset of 30 colors for a marker and you can give it an icon, but you can't add a border or change the shape or size of the marker. And when you publish the map, you're stuck with this look and feel. For example, you can't change the color of this red bar or remove the profile photo. Next up is Map Creator. Map Creator is great at making maps that you export as an image. So let's start by adding a text box. And we'll add a second one. Perfect. Map Creator also lets you add shapes that match regions. So let's do one for Toronto. And we'll adjust the color. Cool. Now, it doesn't necessarily really work for our map, so let's actually just get rid of it. Now, the awesome thing with Map Creator is that you can save your map in a variety of formats. You can export it as PNG, JPEG, SVG, and even PDF. Lastly, Incarnate. I've saved the funnest for last. This is an amazing tool for creating fantasy maps. Let's start by drawing land. Next, let's add some grass. And how about some trees? Ooh, very cool. And what about some of these towers? Very nice. And lastly, let's draw a path between the two towers. Oh, looking good. How cool is that? That was so easy. And I'm just scratching the surface. People make amazing maps with Incarnate. 
Okay, there you go. Those are four really great map making tools. You can find links to each in the video description below. I hope this was helpful and thanks for watching.